doesn't sound crazy, does it? I hope. might be interested in.
see that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Looks like some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed to suck the credits directly from your pocket. What's this about? Cut the act. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you stepped through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. So, what was the plan, Michelle? Smuggle the Aurora into Akira City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, so... Honest mistake, right? This right here, I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's administrator Baker's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. Clover over at Kelp Corp. She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. Private sector. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. Oh my, do I? That's awful. I should be taking better care of my customers. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart, who he's angry at for paying off Neon security. It's a little group James formed, with some of the other vendors on Neon. I'd call it more of a support group, because all they do is sit around and complain about how hard it is to run a business here. For protection, I assume. They apparently target certain businesses with some type of safety assurance fee scheme. We've been spared that indignity so far, but it's absolutely disgraceful this kind of thing is happening. I'm not taking anyone's side. I just want all this infighting among neon store owners to end. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do, to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. Oh no, I'd hate for you to get sucked into the whole silly affair. It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? Please. Have a good day. If you have a bit of money to spend, that would be lovely. Dietrich is actually quite a lovely man, though lately he's been under a lot of pressure, which has made him rather bitter. When we first opened our business here in Akuchi Market, he was actually very helpful. Offered us advice. Didn't treat us like competition at all. 
I'm sorry, I just don't believe Dietrich is doing anything wrong paying off neon security. We all do what we have to do to survive in this wretched city. Unfortunately, my husband is convinced that fighting City Hall is the way to solve all of Neon's problems. I think he's wrong. Oh, he'll be so upset for me telling you this. But it's such a funny story. I can't resist. James and I used to work on the Chasm Bass line at Xenofresh. We didn't do any of the Aurora extraction, just dealt with the leftovers. I was a supervisor on the line, and when the alarm went up that it had been stopped, I investigated. I find James inside a storage vat, up to his shoulders in stinky fish guts and blind as a bat. The gut got in his eyes, you see. I had to walk him to the showers, strip his work clothes, and hose him down. When he saw me standing there, he turned bright red. <laughs> After the shift ended, we went out for a terror brew and talked. A year later, we were married. <laughs> Better times. Better times. Thank you for stopping by. Poor James. He's... I hope you find what you need. Stop by again soon. I've been applying to different megacorps in the area, but I haven't got any buy. If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. My store, my rules. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our, um, complaints department. <laughs> That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating Styx like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. I've got more than you can handle. Always keep plenty of ammo in stock, too. You don't need to worry. Yeah. Buying, selling, or moving. Yeah? Well, then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. 
So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works... Hey, I never said stole. You used that word. Look, let's stop playing games. We both know what I'm talking about. And what'll it be? You got the money. Or the goods. Mars, eh? You always take me to the nicest places. Did you find the book, Dragon Star Force Volume 1, The Heroes of the Dragon Star? Wow! <laughs> oh, I can't believe you actually went and got it for me. I really appreciate you helping me out. Here's something for your trouble.
cycle. We're meeting our quotas. My workers are happy. What more could a bloke like me ask for? The who's and what's it? Sorry, mate. I've got no idea what you're on about. Sounds made up if you ask me. But then again, maybe the other miners have been inventing some jargon I'm not familiar with. Best to ask around. Great, now that you helped us get that new equipment, what a difference it makes. We're pumping out yields that would have taken twice the crew before. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Well, that's the idea anyway. Now, if we fail to meet our quotas, it'll be our own fault, not the bloody machines failing to do their job. Shame we didn't have enough left over to fix old Gnome over there. Would have been nice to have another functional robot around. It's fine anyway. I think we've gotten used to that old broken down talking computer just the way he is. Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all... Well, it is. Not too bad, eh? Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Just sit down, or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to if the quaking makes you uneasy, and you'll be fine. You have a good one, all right? Nothing like seeing old soldier. I'm getting a demos. Do your part to keep Sidonia free. was fun. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. You are clear to land at New Atlantis. 